Welcome to C Sharp for Beginner series. This is the first tutorial in this series. In this tutorial, I will explain what C Sharp and .NET is. Before you learn about C Sharp, you need to know what .NET is. The .NET, a Microsoft product, is a software platform. The .NET platform is language neutral meaning it can support a variety of languages. In other words, it is not a language by itself, but a runtime and a library for writing and executing programs written in any compliant language. The .NET framework exposes numerous classes to the developer. These classes allow the development of rich client applications and web-based applications alike. In this slide, these classes have been divided into four areas. The ASP.NET provides the core web infrastructure such as web forms for user interface based development and web services for programmatic interface development. User interface development on the Windows platform can be done using the Windows forms. The ADO.NET and XML provide the functionality for data access. Finally, the core base classes provide infrastructure services such as security, transaction management, etc. and all that is integrated using the Visual Studio.NET. C Sharp is one among the many languages supported by .NET. Here is C Sharp you also have Visual Basic, Visual C++, JScript, and a host of other languages. So, as we just heard, C Sharp is just one of the languages supported in uh, .NET, and C Sharp is what I am going to be focusing on. So, what is C Sharp? C Sharp is a simple, modern, object-oriented language derived from C++ and Java. It is more like Java than like C++. It allows you to quickly develop applications using the rapid application development technologies. As we heard, it is a part of Microsoft Visual Studio.NET. The .NET includes a common execution engine and rich class library. Microsoft JVM equivalent is the common language runtime, also called CLR. CLR accommodates multiple languages. So when you take the source code written in any language, C Sharp, VB, C++, etc., it first gets compiled to intermediate language code. So all of these languages get compiled to the intermediate language code. Then when you run your application, it uses JIT compiler or just-in-time compiler to compile it to the native, native code. The classes and data types are common to all the .NET languages. What can you do with C Sharp? It's a full-blown programming language. You can develop web applications, console applications, I should have said Windows applications, console applications, also web applications. Both Windows and web applications can be database enabled. You can develop a Windows service or a web service based, in, based on XML technologies. You can also develop your own Windows controls or web controls. You can even program for the mobile devices. How does the compilation in .NET work? You write your code, let's say in C Sharp. You use the C Sharp compiler and that compiler would compile it to some sort of an intermediate language code or called the IL code. Same thing will happen if you compile the program in either VB.NET or any other supported language. You need to of course have the corresponding compiler to convert it to IL. Once the, you have the IL code, you can run it with CLR using the just-in-time execution. So, so what is intermediate language or IL? The .NET languages are not compiled to machine code directly as they would be like in a programming language like C or C using C compiler. 
they are compiled to an intermediate language code. The CLR then accepts the IL code and recompiles it to machine code. The recompilation is just in time, meaning it is done as soon as the function or the subroutine is called. The just in time compiler, the JIT code, stays in memory for subsequent calls. In cases where there is not enough memory, it is discarded, thus making JIT process interpretive. The languages supported by .NET are Visual Basic, C Sharp, C++, C Sharp, J Sharp, J Script, and there are third party languages, several third party languages available. Uh, for example, one in Fortran, one based on Python, one based on COBOL and Smalltalk. So you may be able to find the language that you like and be able to program on the .NET platform. The Visual Studio .NET, this is a development tool that contains a rich set of productivity and debugging features. Using this tool, using Visual Studio, you can write, debug, test and compile your applications and even deploy it and uh, build by using uh, the deployment tools available in the studio. Summarizing, the .NET framework dramatically simplifies the development and the deployment time that it takes to bring an application to the market. It provides robust and secure execution environment. It supports multiple programming languages. What hardware and software would you need? C Sharp only runs on Windows. Fortunately, there is a free compiler available. You can go to this uh, website uh, by Microsoft, download C Sharp Express 2010, install it. The installation process takes several minutes. One on, machine, one on my machine took about 20 minutes. Once you are done with it, please go on to the next tutorial in this series. Thank you.